from Cary, North Carolina. Mayaka, such a key piece matchup against Pittsburgh last year in that one nothing decision for the Tigers. Mayaka, ACC Freshman of the Year last year for that high flying Clemson transition in counterattacks. And we did see that with Pittsburgh. And I know you called that match in their semifinal against. Stay more compact and don't give up so many transitional moments. Free kick coming here for Pitts. Will this be a test for George Marks in goal for Clemson? Here we go. Petkovic, who is a master. Mirkovic. Tries to just go right around Asensio. The junior out of Roswell, Georgia. Played that well defensively. And will Asensio in the right place. Wanted to read that come off his line. Quick turn there for Mayaka, looking central for Smith. But just his positional play, his tidy touches, allowing for Clemson to be able to keep the ball and dictate the tempo. Yeah, Mike Noonan telling us this week that we don't win those first two matches of this tournament without him playing well. And that was something that he struggled to find himself a little bit as the season went on, had a lot of expectations, perhaps struggled with those some, forcing things. And really matured as a player over the course of this short season. Spread out too easily. We saw the amount of room that Barber had to be able to pick up that ball and look to spray it around. Petkovic just being manhandled over there. Both players down after that altercation. Challenges. Pekovic doing a good job of holding the ball. Just needs to get on the ball as much as possible. Start to create even more overloads going forward. Yeah, I think you would say Clemson is That's a good little hold up play from Noel. A good combination play for Pekovic to be able to come in. Slow up his run and get a good look on goal. And that Quirt in Durham weekdays, 7 to 10 a.m. Eastern on ACC Network. If you don't have ACCN, go to getaccn.com for instant access. And these are the moments when you really get the sense that they are missing Lafalzit down this right hand side. He's been so instrumental in getting players into the attack and actually just creating attack on the right-hand side. And that sets up a pretty dangerous situation here for Clemson chance for the Tigers perhaps to extend their lead. The ball will belong to Fernandez Salvador. Fernandez Salvador for it on the far side. Now he'll get it. Mayaka. Good communication from his teammates, hearing that pressure was coming. Enjoy talking to the coaches about this split season. Obviously, not the reasons why you would want to start to have the split season, but at the same time, them to be able to only play one game a week, ample rest in between some of these. We expect to see even more. 
Carolina, the Panthers, to start things off, we'll see if that halftime makes a difference for this pit team. You wouldn't expect, even though the last... When we look at this pit attack. Right now it is Noel and Pitt on the attack! They tied it! See how the Tigers respond after conceding that lead, now settling to be even once again. Jaka Song. Good defensive play by Mayaka. This is a break it up. Not allow for Pitt to get on the counterattack quickly. Barber trying to make life difficult and does. Pitt still looking for a way out from their defensive third. Can't find it. Johnson picks it up. Barber looks to be playing a lot more central to start this second half. Reading the play, getting in behind that right back for Clemson. Chance to break for Pitt. Jaka Sohn, can he run Mayaka? Or does he? No, Mayaka stays with him. And then is whistled for the foul, which he points to perhaps a bloody lip. And that's a tough call on Mayaka. And that's exactly what he's arguing as well. Both of these players just getting tangled up. A good fight as often as he has done down the stretch here for Pitt. In a season where not much else of anything has been consistent. Games canceled and postponed. Players. So Pitt won it, now where can they go with it? Can they handle this press of Clemson? Noel. Quick touch to Petkovic. That'll break a press. We've seen him play more central. Now we see him on the far side. He'll prove me wrong right now as he takes it away. Gets it in the box. Barber touches it across. That should have been another goal for Clemson. Prove you wrong. <laughs> Reads this play well. It is a heavy ball back into the path of Mayaka, but all he has to do is redirect it right back on frame. Doesn't get a good look. Sends it from Capitano moments ago. Easy pickoff from Barber on that last attempt. But to be fair, Lori, that's really the only way that Barber has gotten into this half whereas he was getting into it much more fluidly and naturally named a semifinalist for the Matt Kerman Trophy. An award that was won by his teammate, Robbie Robinson last year, the offensive catalyst for this Clemson team. Looking for Barber. Six assists on the season for Barber. Looking for seven, he's got it! And with how active Barber has been, really created some, some problems. Even though he hasn't had as much success throughout this half, taking on 1v1, getting isolated in the width, did well on that last attempt. Jacasson charging onto the ball, held off by Asensio. Pitt trying to keep it alive here in this attacking third. Jacasson, our vote as announcers for freshman of the year in the conference this year. Jacasson. Gomez returned in the semifinal, his first appearance since October 13th. Had missed the previous five matches. I'll do the work. Make him chase, right? The last thing you want to do as a player. 
game of keep away, only fun if you're the one with the ball. And Clemson doing an excellent job of it, although they lose it. Mayaka. Still an opportunity for Emrani now, way up into the attack. He is fouled. This will be a free kick for Pitt. And this attack leads from a poor giveaway from Malou, and there's no need to be rushing plays if you're Clemson. Just keep us. But again, you got to ask the question of why they're even putting themselves in that position for Marks to have to come up with the save that he did. It's in Clemson's DNA to want to attack, to run. Kamarni Smith goes against his instincts, probably <laughs> slows it down. <laughs> Lori, I know you were a two-time ACC Player of the Year at Virginia. It's Mayaka goes forward here, gets in the box. Mayaka, maybe a little more. <laughs> but did you ever play in an ACC championship game? I did not. You did not, even in all three professional leagues, right? I always like to uh, give you that cred. Dating me, Jen, dating me. <laughs> Corner kick now for Clemson. Otherwise known as more opportunity to waste time if they play it right now. Fernanda Salvador back. That's a good sign for the Tigers. Mayaka. Well, he's saying, look, I know we're not exactly supposed to be moving forward, but if you're going to give me the shot, I'm going to take it. One goal lead at the half and wound up giving three unanswered goals to the Virginia Cavaliers in the second half to lose in the championship. Fernandez Salvador immediately met by Luke Mort. Jacasone, three Clemson Tigers around him. You could hear the contact. He got hit. And that foul will set up the Panthers after they check on Jacasone. Right at midfield there is where Smith and the contact occurs. You could see that arm extended, couldn't you, Lori, in that angle? I don't know how much, when you slow it down, it's tough to see how much velocity there was in the extension. Pittsburgh has not lost a match or drawn a match all season. A perfect 7-0 record for the Panthers coming into this. Search of their first ACC champion. Second amongst all active members of the conference. And seconds away now from title number 15, but Pittsburgh trying to make one last chance in the box. It is headed out. Foul against Pittsburgh and Luke Mort this time 